are so excited you have decided to join us today in visiting the Bayard Cutting Arboretum in Great River, New York. As stated on their website, the Arboretum would like to be thought of as a museum of trees and not as a park. The trails are available for your enjoyment to hike and meander around during all the beautiful trails, the rare trees, the beautifully flowering plants, but they do not allow biking or pets of any type. visiting the grounds of the Arboretum, you can have a guided tour of the Manor House as well as visit the Hidden Oak Cafe and have a snack, maybe some coffee or tea. They are known for their high tea, which you can make reservations and get more information about this online. And you can enjoy your snack, your meal outside on the deck and have a beautiful view of the water and the beautiful flowers. marked paths throughout the entire Arboretum. It was a very relaxing and interesting hike as this location is beautifully curated with sections devoted to different species of plants and trees such as the Hollywalk and the Conifer Garden. The majority of the trails were paved but we were able to find some dirt paths which led to some very interesting features which we're excited to show you. On the Arboretum's website, you can download a PDF map as well as an interactive tree map, which we'll explain to you a little later. If you prefer, you can also find a paper map located inside the first set of doors at the Manor House. If you really want to get a more in-depth look at the different trees at Bayard Cutting, you could go to their website, BayardCuttingArboretum.com, and if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see a little link there that says uh, Access Arboretum Tree Explorer. It's in green. If you touch on that, it's going to bring you to a page with the bird's eye view of the park, and all the trees are actually color-coded. And if you zoom in to where you are and click on one of them, it'll explain to you what that tree is.
So I think these are called knees. I've been reading some of the other comments on some of the other posts um, in some of the hiking groups, and that's a bald cypress tree. And apparently these seem to occur only around bald cypress trees and only near the water. It's a, it's a funny little phenomenon. One person said they, uh, they put hats and scarves on these things in the wintertime. It should be funny to see. making these videos to share with you guys and we want to hear from you please uh, leave us a comment down below let us know what you like about the parks maybe add something in there that we might have missed and let us know what other parks you'd like to see videos and walkthroughs made of 